Hi, I'm Thompson. I work here at Quizlet. Today we're going to show you our new in-class activity, Quizlet Live. Quizlet Live allows you to use your study sets in the classroom to help your students learn soft skills like teamwork and communication and hard vocabulary skills. I'm here in Quizlet's office with our team. We love to test our products before we ship it out to all of you. Today, the team are my students. Say hi, team. Hi, Mr. Hayes. We're going to show you what Quizlet Live will look like in your classroom. Every student will need a computer or a mobile device. First, we'll select Live Study Mode and then click Create Game. So my teacher computer is telling the students to type Quizlet.Live into their web browser. Quizlet Live works with a mix of devices, so any student should be able to join in no time just by entering the six-digit code above. As students join, you can see the student count and the names of students who have joined. It's important to encourage your students to type in their real names. That way, they can easily find their team at the next step. If one of your students types in a nonsensical name, you can easily click to scratch it out and then have your student re-enter their name. Quizlet Live creates random teams of three to four students. This helps students who normally don't talk to each other learn to work and communicate together. Now our students will move around to get into their teams. Teams will need to communicate to pick the right term and work closely together to get each question right. We find that Quizlet Live works really well for introducing new material and final reviews before assessments. My teacher computer is now projecting the leaderboard. The first team to 12 wins. However, one wrong answer will send you back to the start. Oh, sorry snakes. Congratulations, penguins. As soon as the game is over, we can review how the whole class did. We can see what terms they learned by playing the game, terms they regularly missed, and terms they know by heart. I can also use this time to review frequently missed pairs and help reinforce these concepts. We've been testing this game in schools across the country. We're always looking for ways to improve it, and we want to hear about problems you encounter. Thanks.